Hello, learners. I hope you are doing well this morning. And we thank God for this. So today we are going to learn creative activity. And we are going to do what we call mosaic. As you can see on my blackboard, I have written the word mosaic. Mosaic means using one type of material to stick on a given picture so that you come up with a picture that is very beautiful. Okay, good. Now, on my table here, I have things that I'm going to use to come up with a good mosaic picture. So I have grass here. This is locally available. You don't need to go and buy in the shop. You just go outside your house, pluck some grass, then you come and use it in doing your mosaic. I also have a scissors. This one is going to help me cut the grass into small pieces so that they are easy to stick on a piece of paper. I have a marker pen here. I will use the marker pen for drawing the picture that I want to work with. I also have a masking tape here. This one will help me to stick my picture on the wall after I've done my work. Okay, boys and girls. I also have a ruler here. The ruler will help me to make straight lines when I'm drawing my picture. I also have a pencil here. I will use my pencil to draw. So you can also look at my table here so that you can go out and look for the materials that you are going to use. For first of all, I want you at home, you take a piece of paper, like here I have a piece of paper. So you take a piece of paper. I want to show you how to draw a fish. We are going to draw a fish first, then after we've drawn a fish, now we are able to work on the picture. So with your pencil, you can look here, we want to draw a fish, so draw a curve. We draw another curve. You come here, you write in and out. We go to the tail, out, down, in. Then our fish here should have an eye. So I put my eye there. My fish also has the fins. These ones are called the fins. I have a small fin here. Very good. Our fish also will have some small lines here. Wow, that is an excellent fish. So I want us to draw on a piece of paper. I have a luminous paper here. We want to do our work on, the, on this piece of paper so that we are able to display it for our friends to see. Together with me, take your paper and your pencil. We draw the same fish on the blackboard on the piece of paper.
As you can see here, we have our beautiful fish. We have our beautiful fish here. We have our beautiful fish. We have our beautiful fish on the pepper. Yes. It is very beautiful. So I hope you also have the same fish on your piece of paper. Now, after you've grown your beautiful fish, now I'm going to use my glue. I'm going to use my glue. I'll spread my glue on the fish so that I will use this glue to spread on my fish so that I can apply the, I can apply my grass to make a beautiful mosaic. So we are going to spread the glue and you can spread as you sing this song. I am spreading, I am spreading, look at me. Look at me, can you do as I do, can you do as I do, spread, 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 I am spreading, I am spreading, look at me, look at me, can you do as I do, can you do as I do, spread, spread, spread. Well done. Now I take my pieces of grass. I had already prepared mine here, but I can still show you how to make the small pieces. So with, with your scissors, you take the grass, then you cut into small pieces and remember to hold your scissors very well to avoid harming yourself. So I'm going to cut, you just cut like this. Make sure your scissors is not pointing at yourself, but it's pointing the other side. So you just cut into small pieces. Very good. So I had already cut mine here. This, this is grass cut into small pieces. So I'm going to spread on my fish. I'm going to spread on my fish to make my fish more beautiful. To make my fish more beautiful. So the grass is going to stick on the areas where I spread my glue. The grass is going to stick on the areas where I spread my glue. Continue spreading, you spread, make sure your fish has the pieces of grass. So I've done it, then after I've done it, I just remove now you can see you can see the piece of work that we have now. So after you've done the work, you don't leave it or you don't throw it away. You don't leave it or you don't throw it away. You display your work. You display your work for the other children to see or for the people at home to see. So I'm going to spread, to display my work on my blackboard i'm going to display my work on the blackboard and i'm going to use 
the masking tape. If you don't have a masking tape, you can use a rope. You can use a rope. We are displaying our work. We are displaying our work. Remember, after you've done your work, after you have done your creative art, make sure you display so that other people can see and appreciate your work. As you can see now, we have our finished work. This is our mosaic creative art. And we only used grass. We only used grass to make our fish very beautiful. We only used grass to make our fish very beautiful. So at home, you can come up with many pictures. You can draw many pictures and use locally available materials. Like in our case, we have used grass. You can use sand. You can use ash. And you come out with it, different beautiful pictures that other people will look at and they become very happy are you happy with my picture is it beautiful very good well done okay now you don't leave your working area in a mess you have to be responsible so after i've done my piece of work on my table here and my table is very dirty i have to clean up i have to clean up so that next time when i come to use again the place is neat the place is neat This is the way we do our work, do our work, do our work. This is the way we do our work all day long, all day long. This is the way we do our work, do our work, do our work. This is the way we do our work all day long. Well, now our working area is clean. Our picture is well kept on our display area. You can take a photo of your picture and send it to your friend. I hope the lesson was good. You have enjoyed and you are going to come up with so many mosaic art of different pictures. Thank you learners. Have a nice day.